And we have a major blast of cold on the way for the weekend. Back to more normalcy for us. It's not going to be anything abnormal for February, but it's about a 30 degree drop in temperatures from what we saw yesterday with our record heat and what we will continue to see into the weekend. You can already see that cold developing in places like Nashville and Knoxville, 20 and 30 degrees colder than yesterday. For us, it's beginning to drop. Asheville about six degrees cooler than yesterday morning here in Greenville, just barely getting a little bit cooler out there, but the wind will pick up and it's going to usher in more of that cold over the Tennessee line. 10 to 15 mile per hour winds right now. Nothing major this morning. There will be though stronger wind through the middle of the day. So a wind advisory has been issued for Yancey and Mitchell counties. That goes till 7 o'clock tonight and that cold is on the way. You can already see some of the blue infiltrating parts of North Carolina. It's in the 50s there now. 60s here in the upstate. Mountain towns though, this is the warmest you'll be all day. Here in the upstate, we're going to stay right in the 60s as the sky begins to clear and the wind picks up. Your high is about 65 degrees. That's likely to happen about midday around the noon hour and then the late afternoon gets a little bit colder as the wind picks up. Mountain towns, you've got falling temperatures all day long. 50s now into the 40s by the afternoon and that wind will make it feel even colder than that. Gusting to 25 in the upstate, 35 in North Carolina and even higher in some of the peaks. We're going to rate the day a 9 out of 10. 50s uh, and even 60s right now looking good for a Friday. Not a bad setup for February, so still nice enough to get outside, especially as the sky clears. A couple of these early rain showers near that Tennessee line are all beginning to fade out. It's going to squeeze itself out over North Carolina and then be dry for the remainder of the southeast. So this is a, an air mass change. So we're more looking at colder air rather than a soggy setup coming with this system. And that cold is coming right up from the uh, upper Midwest uh, areas near that Canada line. That cold is going to sink into our region in time for the weekend. So we've got cool days and cold nights ahead. I'm talking back to the freezing mark for a lot of us. Sunday, Sunday's a day we could actually see some possible wintry weather. We're looking at some sleet early Sunday morning, just enough to see it bounce off the car rooftop, but it all changes over to just a couple rain showers by the afternoon, not anticipating any issues as far as uh, road concerns. You'll notice it here on Futurecast, just a spot or two of pink, and it's going to linger for only an hour or two. It's just not going to be out there for very long. So again, no road concerns, but something to be aware of as you might uh, hear that sound of sleet early Sunday morning by the time we get to the end of the weekend. Look how these temperatures fall. 60s today, 50s tomorrow, 40s by Sunday. Next Next week, a small rain chance comes on Monday, a slight warm up for Tuesday that could actually bring some thunderstorms before it all dries out and stays fairly comfortable for your Valentine's Day forecast next week. It's about 615. Got to get to your riding forecast sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. You want to ride this weekend. Saturday's the better day of the two. We will continue to look at a chance for that drizzle and colder temperatures on Sunday. Mountain towns, you'll be in the 40s all weekend. A little bit cold for a ride, but Saturday's the better day if you do want to bundle up. Chris watching the roads right now, 614. What's going on?